Calm down. I'm from the future. Awesome, amazing. I'm oh, Crystal Ball. Are you on drugs? Aliens. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Yeah. Now, a social media influencer from Miami was involved in a car crash, and when the law enforcement came to check on her, she said that the aliens are coming. I am from the future, and I'm here to warn you. And meanwhile, she's trying to warn us. She claims the life of two. And I swear to God. Nowadays, everyone's an influencer. Meet Mary. She is one of one. She has 13,000 followers. And even if you have 2,000 followers nowadays, you are an influencer. What does she influence? She influences creepiness into men. I don't know. Everyone's an influencer nowadays. You can go on camera and say, and boom, you're an influencer. You're an entrepreneur. Now, this individual donkey last month, she was driving back from a party at 6.45 a.m. And she was on something very special called illegal pink sugar known as Tusi, where it is a mix of cocktails put all together, which is a pink powder that combines psychotic substances like ketamine, ecstasy, methamphetamine, opioid. Basically, it is a drug made by Shaitan himself. Now, I know it's always nice to try new things, but when it comes to these things, do not try new things because it is going to lead. First of all, you're going to ruin your life. Second of all, you're going to do stupid things and end other people's lives. They responded to this deadly crash at around 6.45 a.m. on August 10th. Body cam video shows the wreckage of three cars. Investigators say Lathers was driving around 80 miles an hour in a white Mercedes with her foot on the gas pedal 100% when she allegedly ran a red light and crashed into a black Range Rover. And that collision caused the SUV to smash into a Suzuki. Now, there are two scenarios in this situation. Either she forgot which paddle is which, which is gas, which is brake. She wanted to brake immediately and just put her full leg on the gas, or she was from the future, and this was part of the future. This is meant to happen in order for her to stop the aliens. Now, three cars were involved in this. Mercedes, which was her. This is she was the one who ran the red light. Second car was a Range Rover, which one person was inside and the Range Rover. And when the Mercedes hit the Range Rover, the Range Rover hit another car, which is a Suzuki, a small car, which three people were inside. It was Abraham Molino, Jesus Rubio and uh, Molino's Abraham's uh, girlfriend, Juanita Hernandez. Unfortunately, the two guys in a Suzuki passed away, but the girlfriend survived. And the guy in the Range Rover, who, who he's now reported to, that he's stable. Out of the two guys who passed away, one of them passed away in the hospital and one of them passed away at the scene. And for some reason, it is always the people who are high on something and the ones causing these deaths. They're the ones who always arrive. I, I don't know if it's a punishment for God to put the, keep them on this planet and suffer more or, or what, what is it? And this also opened my eyes about having a, the advantages of having a big car. Yes, you're going to ha have to pay more for patrol, but the safety in it. Imagine you're driving a Ford F-150 Raptor and someone in a Mercedes just crashes into you. You are in a tank. You're going to have a scratch on your car, but that person's car is going to cut into half. Second you hit, pa! Rest in peace. Oh my God. And according to this video, the body cam footage, she tried to flood the scene, but people stopped her and she was found naked. I have no idea how she got naked. Maybe she got naked and think people are going to get distracted and be like, oh, nice. Everyone is going to get flabbergasted so she can run away. But little did she know she could not run away and she just fell down and just stood still in one place. And that is when the police found her just a little bit further away from the crash asking, who the, who the fuck? Why is she naked? Ma'am, can you still uh, looking that way? Yeah. No, that's good. She'll be sideways, brother. Wait, ma'am. Relax. Relax. Ah! Ah! I think you were involved in the crash. She probably won't be able to walk. Does anything hurt you? Who, who had heard the thing? Yeah, the we got real time monitor. Is it? My name that's is Mercedes. Mercedes. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. I'm from the future. Awesome, amazing. I'm Crystal Ball. Are you on drugs? What do you want? Oh, God. Now, it is still unclear why she's topless, but it's very clear 
that she's on something the second she said that my name is Mercedes, I'm from the future, I have a crystal ball, and here she says that they are coming, the aliens are coming. Now, at the beginning, she was charged with reckless driving, driving with a suspended license, causing injury, and after she allegedly ran the red light while driving a Mercedes in downtown Miami, struck two vehicles. She was charged with eight counts, and one thing that blows my mind is the fact that she got out on bond after one of the victims died at the crash scene and one of them died later on in the hospital but hey she got out in bond now the reason why an attorney in the in this video said the reason she got out is because the police was were waiting for the test results to come out so they can confirm that if she's on something or not so they were waiting the state attorney because they wanted the toxicology to come right. back to show what was in her system and the levels that were in her system um, like you had mentioned, you know, initially the police officers weren't sure if she was manifesting what the way she was initially because she was injured. You know, they really didn't know what was going on because it's not unheard of if somebody, uh, you know, hits their head and has a concussion. It can manifest in different ways. My friend, she unalived two people and she was let out in bond because they were waiting for the drug reports to come out to see what she's on and just keep her in jail do not give her bond they let her okay you know what you unalive two people but chill for now under house arrest and you know once the report comes out then we will see what we're going to do about you 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 stay there you don't do anything more stupid don't drive any car anymore just stay still and wait till so we can, you know, give you the convictions. And after the report came out and confirmed the pink illegal sugar that she was on, she was hit with two new charges, taking the charges from eight counts to 10. She is charged with DUI manslaughter and vehicle homicide. And that is the time they decided to no more bond. You're going to sit in jail. Now, if you ask anyone how long she should serve in this situation, everyone will tell you that she should serve until the day she dies in prison unless you know her thirteen thousand followers the men who follow her they will say no let her out she didn't do anything she's my idol but leave those thirteen thousand creeps she should not be out on the street anymore even the bond thing she is a danger and when she showed up in court according to her hernandez who had her boyfriend die and left their child without a father she said that in court she was showing no remorse and she was just sitting there waiting hoping crossing fingers so that she would get a lower sentence so she can go go back to partying juanita hernandez was also in court this past week when lathers was taken into custody and she told local outlet nbc6 that it was a horrible feeling seeing her and that she didn't look remorseful she said the defendant is a danger to society. Lathers has pleaded not guilty to all charges. He's expected back in court again next week for a pretrial detention hearing. After the two new charges that came towards her, she was taken into jail finally, and she's waiting until her conviction date, which is literally in two days. Hopefully she will get life, you know, 30 years to life at least, but according to attorney, it is going to be unlikely. She's going to probably serve around like 10 to 15, I believe. I'm, I'm not really sure how this whole system works. If the judge is in a good mood or a bad mood. This situation is really suck. Just because someone wasn't willing to pay 50, 60 dollars, you know, in case, you know, they're, they're out drinking or they're out doing some things that they shouldn't be, you know, you, sure, do it, but do not drive and put other people's life in danger. And unfortunately, a lot of people just drink, get behind the wheel, thinking that they're okay, even though they're all messed up and put other people's life in danger in this situation, taking the life of two. And I think you can learn a thing or two from this whole video. First of all, do not drink. If you're out, just Uber, just taxi your way back home. It's not worth it. Relax, sit behind a taxi and let, let them take you home. Second thing, if you're driving into an intersection, especially after a weekend or in the middle week, uh, it's like 6, 7 a.m., you need to get to work. If you're going through an intersection, I always look, even though my light is green and others are red, I always look left and right. It is not because of these videos that I watch online. I actually went through this experience with my dad. He was sitting, my mom was on the front seat as well. Me and my brother and sister were at the back. There was a, you know, the two lanes were just going here and they could have made a U-turn and uh, three lanes were coming this way. It was a signal, basically. Excuse my drawing, but this is what exactly happened. And to this day, I still remember this whole incident that happened. 
this card started to go this way my dad started to go but before even going through the you know the green light my dad stopped over here but this guy kept on going every car behind him started honking his their horns but after three seconds they realized why he stopped here because one donkey was going such a high speed that my dad predicted that he's not going to stop so as this car was going over here shut up in front of my eyes and then my dad just casually just kept on going i still remember exactly that the incident the accident that happened and to this day i always look left and right even though you know their light is red you never know who someone may be under the influence they don't see the red lights they're too sleepy they fall asleep behind the wheel you should always be aware of this whole situation and if you're for example sleepy or you're driving but you gotta go to work this is i go through this thing a lot where you know you might think that i'm posting videos at 3 4 p.m your time but the time i actually post it's around 4 5 a.m my time and besides youtube i have two other part-time jobs where one of the jobs you know i have to wake up a couple of days a week i gotta leave the house at 5 30 a.m so sometimes once i'm like finishing up two videos a day there's no time to sleep so i go straight from the youtube video to uh i have to drive people around basically i'm a five-star uber driver from my dad's company and if you're ever in this situation where you lack sleep you're too sleepy to drive as a professional sleepy driver you have to be on a heart attack mode of caffeine and if you're still on so much caffeine and you still feel sleepy put your window down music all the way up <laughs> let the wind come towards you and you need to sit towards the wheel like this and you know just drive your way Thankfully, I come back after like three, four hours and I just sleep all the way through. So take care for yourself out there. Watch out for these donkeys out on the street because if, if something happens to you, these yapping sessions will not hit the same. Anyways, take it easy. I'll catch you in the next one.